Call of Duty is one of the biggest franchises in the world. Whether you love it or you hate it, it certainly makes a splash every year. Throughout the mid to late 2010s, the series entered a period of decline until it hit its golden goose, Modern Warfare 2019, or as they would like you to call it, a Call of Duty Modern Warfare, even though there's one of those already. Despite it being polarizing in the core community, it was one of the most popular and well-received by the general player base for it reinvigorating the COD formula. This game was a modern AAA game release, and so it was designed for consoles and PC with a $60 price tag. Well, what if that game was free and could be played on your phone? Normally when you say something is a COD clone, it's meant as like a comparison. Take something like Iron Sight, for example. It's clearly trying to be a COD-like game, but Ultimately, it's still its own thing. However, a company by the name of Alpha Bravo Inc. has decided to not even bother with that. They just said, let's just straight up make Modern Warfare 2019 again. Welcome to Combat Master, the weirdest COD clone. Now, let, let's just drop the pretense. The strangest COD game I've ever played. As you can see from the first news post that pops up, this is certainly taking inspiration. They are certainly also taking inspiration from the cosmetics right in your face too. I went to the store to claim some free stuff they decided to give me though, which was a surprising amount. I also went to check out the classes where the gun names were still made up, which I found quite funny. If you're going to go into gray legal territory, you might as well go all out, but I guess, I don't know. There's also kill streaks called kill chains, but it seems like only two of them are unlocked so far, or at least are even in the game. One of them is a nuke, which is at 14 kills for some reason. I decided to just click play and hop in a match while people talk Spanish in the global chat. First match was on Warhow, oh my god, they're stealing maps too. <laughs> while this isn't an exact replica by any means, it's pretty obvious this map is taken heavily from the map Hackney Yard from Call of Duty. The map itself is much simpler and smaller, which makes sense since this game is designed to run on phones. Look, from now on, I'm going to try and give this game a fair shot and not make comparisons unless they feel relevant. I hopefully satiated the combat masters watching this video with that one. And here's one thing I will say. While I am playing on PC, the gunplay and movement feels surprisingly good. I'm not expecting AAA quality out of this, but compared to a lot of other free-to-play FPSs I've played, this feels a lot better. It certainly helps that this MP5 absolutely melts. This first match had its issues like a rather bare bones and weirdly designed map, but ultimately I had fun. I almost immediately loaded into my next match on a map called Art Gallery, which seemed to be almost completely original. However, you could definitely tell that this was a mobile game map immediately, because I'm pretty sure this was even smaller than a map like Shipment from COD. As you can tell from that statement alone, this entire match felt like a meat grinder with almost no breaks in between gunfights. However, this was oddly fun. I like smaller maps every once in a while, and the super super short gameplay loop was stimulating. I really could use some Subway Surfers gameplay to go along with this though. I actually went on a good streak this match, enough to where I had to pick up someone else's gun which was also pretty good. I even earned my first kill chain which was a whole minigun. It melted, but unfortunately I lost it pretty quick because I got run up on. The whole match though was honestly pretty fun. It felt like those super small maps in COD where you die in 2 seconds but also get like 50 kills, which I appreciate. I unlocked some attachments for my MP5 and put on a horrible camo, and I was ready to go again. My next match was on a map called Power Station, and this was much the same as the one before. It's a super small map that could be confused for a 2v2 map in a full size COD game. The spawns on it were not very good, but it seems that fixed spawns are a trend on every map in this game. This kind of holds the maps back from being truly great, but... I guess it is what it is. I was able to pick up these strange dual wielded SMGs during the match which were fun to use but other than that the match basically played the same as the last one. There isn't really much I can comment on here since it kind of just blurs together into mindless shooting. I won though pretty easily and moved on to the next one. Since the usual game was getting a bit stale, I decided to try the other mode in the menu called Combat Zone. The only game mode I could play was solo so I hopped into it to see what was happening. I have no words. This is literally just Warzone, with its own fake foreign country map too. The map is a lot smaller, but it certainly feels like Verdansk. It even has its own stadium as well. The warm-up was similar, with you just deathmatching with random weapons over a part of the map. After that, I was ready to drop, and I chose to go to a location called Garages. I said I would stop the comparisons, but goddamn, 
I swear this is an exact location from Warzone. It was pretty hectic though, I can't lie. I found a few weapons like a sniper, MP5, and M4, and I was just chasing people around who would just randomly disappear. There was someone I was fighting in the parking garage, and I tried to parkour all around it to try and find them, but they just disappeared. I went to get a supply drop, and I got to my first one-on-one -on -one fight that wasn't just running. I, I think. He was still a ninja most of the time and snuck up and destroyed me. I guess that's the match. Oh my god, there's a gulag too? Are you for real? I went in and got owned, but man, this game continues to shock me. How does this exist? You know what else I have a question about? Why are you not subscribed? Subscribe to the channel if you're enjoying the video because you're, you're probably enjoying the video if you're this far. Please, 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 please. I had to try another match. The weird part about this game is that normally knockoffs feel cheap crappy to play and overall just weird but i was honestly not having a bad time dare i say even fun that's not even something i could say about cod it did seem like this mode may have a bit of a struggle for players though since the warm-up went the whole time at like the waiting for players screen i decided to drop at the stadium this time and got two decent guns including this weird blue ak and then mowed this random guy down there was people everywhere and to be honest it was starting to feel a bit fishy they might have been bots, but with mobile games, you can never really tell. Sometimes kids with mobile controls are really this bad. This crazed lunatic with a knife, though, sure wasn't, and he destroyed me quickly. I also got destroyed in the gulag because of this insane gun I was given. I also just kind of suck. While I suck at this mode, I, I can't lie, it's pretty impressive. I wasn't expecting an entire Warzone creation in this, but it's surprisingly solid. I decided to go back to regular modes and load it into a map called Caribbean Night. This was by far my favorite map in the game because it actually felt more fleshed out than just a small box. It ain't no dust too, but it felt more like an actual 6v6 map. I also tried out the shotgun this match, and it was certainly the gambling weapon. I either melted people or did like 2 damage. Another fun match, another victory, and a good performance for me. I loaded back into warehouse, but this time on a search and destroy match. While it was still fun, the bad spawns really killed this when you could just snipe the whole enemy team right off spawn. I struggled using an SMG and a shotgun, but as soon as I switched over to a sniper, I got a collateral. It doesn't help that snipers are just generally pretty good in this game too. This match was overall just okay though. I also got a minigun completely shut down again. My final match was on Subway, which was very similar to all the other box maps, so I don't really have much to say about it. I decided to try and snipe and quickscope a little bit this match, but it mostly played the same. So during this last match, let's answer the question. Should you play this? I think there's almost a flow chart of answers you could use to answer this question, so I'll try and line it out the best I can. If you already have COD, I would say definitely not. This game is just a ripoff of Modern Warfare 2019, so just play that if you have the craving. The only thing this has above it is that it's a lot more aggressive than the original game, which is notoriously campy, but that could be a benefit to this if you decide to play it. So that's really the only COD owner I could see wanting to play this. As far as people who don't have COD, this game is a solid maybe. There's already good COD clones on PC like Ironsight, but none of them really try to emulate Modern Warfare 2019 that much. So if you're really in love with that style of game, this is a pretty good option. If you're on mobile though, I'd honestly give this a pretty big recommendation. Most mobile games are very predatory and honestly not very good, but this game is well made and the only monetization from what I can see is just cosmetic. For mobile FPS games, you aren't going to get much more fair and much better than this. I know it's cheating, but I mean it is kind of taking a triple a concept and making it slightly less budget but it still does the job for anyone on the phone even if there is that like weird warzone mobile thing now thanks for sticking around until now if you're here it really helps my channel if you hit like and subscribe on the video and maybe even the notification bell it tells me what vids you guys like and don't like and helps me know what i should make more of if you want to stay up to date with my horrible upload schedule the best way is through my discord linked in the description i would love to see you there you can also join my Patreon or as a YouTube member if you really want to show some love. Just like the awesome people, Bungus, Mr. Bunguside, Slack, and Master Necro. My name is Chaos For Real, and this game would be better if it was called Chaos Realer instead. Who the hell wrote this? This sucks. You're getting fired. Get, get out. Get out now. Get, 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 get out. I'm going, 